What happened to your best friend after high school? He's still pretty much the same guy. Only difference is he teaches at a school now instead of studying at one. She was killed by a drunk driver a month before her 21st birthday. We had kind of lost touch after graduation. But we were starting to hang out again and I couldn't have been happier about reconnecting. I'd missed her. Then one night a drunk driver hit her going 80. I remember her sister calling me and having to tell me the next day. I was devastated. I'd let things slip between us when we went to separate colleges. I wish I had had more time with her. But I'm glad I had the few moments we did have when we were reconnecting. Please don't drink and drive. There are so many options for you out there to get you home safely. Use one of them. Edit. Wow. Thank you kind stranger for the gold. Thank you to everyone for your kind words and your comments. I hate that other people have gone through this. I try really hard to make sure anyone who needs a ride has a ride. Again. Please don't drink and drive. It really isn't worth the risk. I think the high school promoted him to head janitor. And he retired 5 years later. He became someone pretty well known in the ghost hunting community. But not in a good way. I don't want to say his name but he was a notorious liar when I knew him and when I saw him on the show he was on he was exactly the same as I remember. I was able to tell when he was lying every time. Partly because I know his tells but mostly because everything he said was a lie. She accused me of telling people she was a lesbian and stopped talking to me. It was untrue as I did not tell anyone anything. Me being oblivious to her orientation. She recently had a ceremony with a woman and posted pics on Facebook. A decent number of my high school friends later came out. I honestly had no idea. I did meet them all in musical theater or drama but still. My mom says she knew all along. I'm still annoyed for being accused of something I 100% didn't do. Joined the army. Goofing around with some buddies on leave. Got drunk and fell out of the back of a pickup truck bed. Putting him into a coma. His parents disconnected life support a couple weeks later and donated his organs to save 3 or 4 different people's lives. I had a few. One won a ton of scholarships. Got a PhD in robotics from a prestigious university. Married. Had a few kids. Works for a major tech firm doing major tech stuff. We talk a few times a year. Another became a lawyer dealing with some subcategory of real estate. Occasionally writes for law journals. Which I know from LinkedIn. I try calling about once a year but the only time we spoke in the last 6 was at his wedding. We lost touch right away. I think we both knew we weren't really compatible. We just didn't have anyone else in high school and we had known each other for years. She contacted me after freshman year in college over the summer saying she wanted to get together. She ditched me. Then shortly after I got engaged she contacted me again. I gave her a chance because college kids can still be dumb and immature. She dropped hints about wanting to be invited despite us not seeing or speaking in 5 plus years. Kept saying she would let me know when she was in town and we can get together. I said yay yeah, definitely. Saw her mom at the store the next week. Her mom said she was coming up that weekend. I didn't reach out to her. I wanted to see if she was going to keep her word. Nope. And never contacted me again. Don't know what she is doing now. That was about 3 years ago. When I met him. He was 12. Living in a home for boys. I was 13. Through high school had many adventures. Shared experiences. Both legal and not so legal. Shared various intoxicants. Shared women. Shared many hours just talking about everything. I met a lovely, sweet girl and married her. He was a dog. And jumped woman to woman. But constantly came to hang out with us. With a different girl most times. He married a woman 14 years older than him that lasted 2 years. Divorced. Worked in Saudi Arabia for 7 years. Traveled round the world many times. Married a girl 14 years younger than him. Got divorced. Wound up living at my house for the better part of 10 years. He died 2 years ago in his sleep. Just days short of his 60th birthday. We had been brothers at heart for 48 years. It broke my heart. He's still my best friend. All my best friends are still my best friends. And when we all went off to different universities we found more good friends. And now those good friends are friends with everyone's best friends. 
So it's like some mega good friend group thing we have going on. 15 of yous are going to Vegas in June. Wish us luck cause we don't plan on coming back. We were roommates in college. I got married and moved out. He married my ex-girlfriend and was the regional manager of an oil field but overdosed on heroin which no one even knew he was screwing around with. He was a genius, but in a good, non-nerdy way. So he went to MIT and Northwestern. We still keep in touch after 35 plus years. Runs a company or something. Probably loaded. We'll always be the dorky freaks and geeks guys. One died of a heart attack. The other was shot and killed. The other finished the army got married to a lunatic and moved to the desert where he has taken up the hobbies of stargazing. Painting and yoga. Grew his hair out and has a ponytail. Colon. They turned back into an inanimate stuffed animal. He joined the air force and got married. I never see him anymore. Roomed with me freshman year of college. First semester all he would do is stay in the room and play video games or smoke weed. He'd never go to class. We ended up hating each other. He dropped out after the first semester. A couple years later he stopped smoking and turned his life around. He didn't go back to college but didn't need to because he found a job that makes him happy. We're still in contact even though I moved away for a job. We graduated in 1979. When he was laid off from a large, foreign owned, manufacturing company, 28 years service. I pulled enough strings to get him hired as a project engineer at a large US semiconductor manufacturer. Worked out for everybody. He got a job. The company got a fantastic manufacturing engineer. And I got the finder's fee. We ended up living about 10 minutes away from each other in a large city. We're from a small town. We kept touch and frequently we change a lot in the 15 years I lived out of state. Most recently she posted a huge rant on Facebook about how working in HR is awful because she had to deal with all these stupid people who didn't even graduate college. And if you were stupid enough to have not graduated college, not to bother speaking to her because she couldn't handle being around such ignorance. Guess who didn't finish college? I haven't spoken to her since. I feel no real loss. I've made much better friends after high school. Him. Marrying him. Her. Bridesmaid. Colon. He became an alcoholic. We could have seen it coming. He drives the same truck. Works the same construction job. Drinks himself stupid every day and has a baby on the way with his terrible GF. Who he only is with because he has such a low self esteem he thinks she's the best he can do. She likes to use phrases like I'm not religious. I'm just very spiritual. He died of a heart attack. Age 20. He drank himself to death by 30. I miss Paul. We were very close up until about 3 or 4 years ago. We were both pregnant with our second child at the same time. She was just a few months ahead of me. When she was 6 months pregnant, the baby stopped moving. She went to the hospital and found out he died. She had to deliver him. It messed her up pretty bad. She got very bitter towards everyone that just had a baby. All that was pregnant without any issues. We've talked here and there. I miss her. And I still love her like she's family. But, I can't bring myself to hang out with her anymore. She's not so bitter and angry anymore. But I know how upset she still is about her son. I couldn't be there for her when it all happened because I lived too far away. And I could tell she resented me for not having any problems. I know she didn't want to be that way. She was just depressed. I don't blame her one bit. I just, I'm a stay at home mom. I'm always with my toddler. Taking my daughter to her house to hang out just feels like a slap in the face. They were about the same age. And it would break her heart to see what her son could be doing right now. I miss her. But unfortunate circumstances made our friendship awkward. His grows pot. Legally. He's really really good at it. My three best friends I all worked on the newspaper within high school. None of them work for newspapers. But they've all found success in their own careers. One of them is now a high school English teacher. Oh. I've heard. Is quite popular with his students. Another one just graduated from med school. And the third. Who was probably my best friend in all of high school. Now lives in California and works for Google. He was diagnosed with colon cancer at age 45. 
years before they recommend you be tested for that, and died. Edit, if you are over 40, male or female, and haven't had a colonoscopy, get one. We lost touch for like 15 years. Then he showed up on Facebook. He lost a bunch of weight, moved across the country, got married, and has twins. Seems to be doing pretty well for himself. We haven't really reconnected in any meaningful way though. Good to see that he's got a good life, though. I'm beyond lucky to be 26 and have a daily group chat with my whole team, of 6, friends from high school. Everyone is finding their own path. No tragedies although some a little more lost than others. Again I feel honestly and truly fortunate we haven't lost touch almost 10 years after graduation. We're still best friends. He's more like an older brother to me although we're not related. So our relationship may seem strange to some. I made many new friends since then but we message each other almost daily and meet up once a year. He is on the other side of the globe. Earlier he just lived a few blocks away. He keeps me on the right track and we don't talk about topics such as sex. Cause it's just way too awkward. I got female friends for that. We're still best friends and he's away in England at the moment getting his PhD equals. He graduated a year early, went into computer science at a school 4 hours away, graduated from that a year early too with his bachelors, got a job at his college working for their IT department making 70 grand a year plus contracts at 19 years old, decided to transition into a woman 5 months ago, started hormones and is doing well. Her family completely disowned her over it. But she's such a strong individual that it's just a small bump in the road. I've been there for her since elementary school and I ain't going nowhere. Very interesting and smart person and I have the utmost respect for her. The only person I have ever met who shared most of the same personality traits as myself. He's still one of my best friends. You the expedient one. We're just older and play video games together in our own houses drinking alcohol. Now, instead of in our parents' basement drinking soda, my other best pal from HS is, and always has been, pretty deep into his church. His dad is a pastor, still where we went to high school. He was always going to be a pastor. He went to college to be a pastor, and is now a youth pastor. He got married early. I've only seen him a couple of times. But I suspect my atheism would be untenable for him if we were still active friends. My daughter had a unique experience. All the way back to early childhood she knew this boy from the neighborhood. He was just about the first other kid her own age she ever came into direct contact with as they grew he continued to have a friend who happened to be a girl and she had a friend who happened to be a boy. Rather than boyfriend girlfriend later as sexual maturity was upon them. They continued to be just friends but did find each other attractive. They made it through high school. Without getting in any trouble although I did find used condoms in her bedroom trash can more than once. It was not all the time. They went to different colleges. And majored in two different STEM majors that both graduated. Kept in touch but tried with little success to establish other relationships. They are now married. And have identical twin daughters. With a son due any day. He is still a good potato. Not expecting anyone to read this but it constantly bothers me. One has been my best friend since second grade and we have usually been fine not talking but she recently had a baby and I haven't heard from her since I went to be there for her son's birth. That was November 2016. I'm not upset that she had a baby. I just feel bad because I was there for her the two scary days she was in labor. But I see all these photos of her with other friends but she hasn't reached out to me or respond to my messages. Second best friend slowly dropped off the map and only came to me with her issues. I would try to talk to her a few times a month but got radio silence unless there was drama. I decided to cut eyes since she wasn't there for me the way I was there for her. That was about two-ish years ago and from Facebook. Looks like she is doing fine. I apologize for formatting. I'm on the app for my phone colon. He's become an award-winning architect in San Francisco for his inspired, unique designs. Mine isn't a happy story. He was institutionalized for a mental problem. Lived in a group home afterward. Overdosed using a legal drug he bought online. Never found out what drug. After being clean for 8 years on St. Patrick's Day 2013. 
has been my best friend for the past 10 years. 20 years of friendship and counting. I was his best man and soon he will be mine. His wife and my girlfriend are good friends too. We'll be taking a 15 day trip abroad in July. Life is pretty damn good. He became a mailman. Still best friends. But I'm cautiously waiting for him to go postal. He joined the marines. He has been in for 8 years now and is doing protective services. We see each other about twice a year. We live on separate sides of the planet, but talk once a week. We are both married and he has a kid. He is retiring in 2 years and is going back to school. He wants to be a history teacher and is planning to move to the same state as me. I miss the man every day but I am proud of him beyond words. She went to boot camp and in the army reserves. She attempted a degree in music education but switched majors and now has a bachelor's in physical education. She plays in the army band. Not sure which one. We lost touch. She also runs a lot of marathons. She is going to Michigan State in a couple months to get her master's degree in physical education. Edit. My other best friend unfortunately passed away due to morbid obesity. He lost a lot of weight and seemed to be on the right track. He started working overnights and went back to fast food and stopped exercising. They think he had a pulmonary embolism but his parents didn't want an autopsy. She went to college for art and photography. Worked for a few years as a graphic designer. Sold all her stuff and has been traveling around Europe for almost 2 years now. I see her probably once a year. She was my maid of honor at my wedding. Took my maternity photos and pics of my family with my newborn son. She is an incredible person. I wish I could see her more. But I am also glad she has followed her heart to travel. He became a violent 6 offender. Last I saw he was in Kent after bailing from his halfway house. She told me she hated gay women. And I never saw or heard from her again. I'd come out to another mutual friend. Who I perceived as a likely kindred spirit. They must have turned round and outed me. She hopped a rich train straight to Itchville and now we don't speak anymore. Actually. Slight lie. I accidentally bumped into her at an event a few years later. Mutual friend popped me a text a couple of hours later to warn me that she'd been stalking me all day. So itch train to creepy itchville, I guess. There were a lot of things that happened. She got deep into opiates. Got mixed up in an abusive relationship. Became a functioning alcoholic. It broke my heart at first and I tried to be there for her. After a while though it was clear she didn't want my help and shoved me away. After some of the it she said and did to me I threw my hands in the air and walked away. We reconnected here and there but nothing really stuck. After my ex fiance and I had a messy separation where I was forced to kick him out of my life I thought she was going to be there for me like I was for her every time her ex landed her in the hospital. Nope. She went out drinking with my ex every night and slept with him a couple times. I never talked to her again. We're friends on Facebook and that's it. She seems to have cleaned up. Has a little boy with mental disabilities that she loves the heck out of and has been in a steady relationship. I'm glad she's doing better. Sometimes I want to reach out but I just can't trust her after all we had been through in the past. I do miss my friend. She was the only person who understood me. We had been friends since middle school. I posted this in another thread but. Leukemia. He was my best friend in middle school and most of high school. We grew apart AMD stopped talking after high school. He got cancer and died at 23. Seeing his mom. Who made us chicken cry. Putting dirt on his grave. Four years later and it's still not real to me. It feels like I can just run into him at any time. Almost 300 people were there the day he was buried. He touched so many lives. He was a good dude. I miss him and think of him every day. I'll see him again one day though. May go visit his grave today. R.I.P. Baltazar. He went totally ducking insane. Apparently tried to start a militia and then dropped out of college. Now all he does is go on about Trump bullet and annoy his co-workers with idiot conspiracy theories from infowers. Dude's a clinical psychopath though. I didn't realize it for a long time. Then we kinda stopped being friends. Man. The dude was a freakin' athlete but his parents were control freak and they didn't want him to get hurt and they were all about money. Met him a couple of weeks ago. Guy now overweight but got like 7 company and he's rich. 
started hanging out at friends houses and skipping school until she missed so many days she dropped out. Her mom would always wonder where she was and I'd tell her I had no idea. Because most of the time I didn't. At one point she was addicted to crack and then got clean. Got pregnant by her unemployed boyfriend. They moved into a trailer and had another kid. The last time I talked to her she borrowed 60 bucks and said she'd come to my wedding but never showed up. I gave up trying to keep in touch a while ago. It's a shame because even though we came from very different socioeconomic backgrounds, we'd have a lot of fun hanging out together. It kinda made us drift apart because she had ample opportunities to make her life better. She just avoided trying and has been dealing with the consequences ever since. Still best friends. We don't see each other too often as we both work a lot and he is a kid now but whenever we get together it's like time hasn't passed at all. It's been 11 years since high school and wouldn't change a thing. He started dating this new girl and became an insufferable asshole to everyone around him. After he blew up at me, I cut him out of my life. About a week ago, he came and apologized. It was a very empty apology. I later found out it was because he was leaving on a trip the next day. And if anything happened, he wanted his conscience to be clear. Once he came back, he gave me a crappy necklace, expecting us to be buddy buddy again. After what he said to me, he needs to earn my friendship again. And he's not willing to do that. I've only seen them a couple times after he said who the duck are you and how did you get into my car? Stayed best friends until November of last year. I was going through a suicidal patch and he stopped being supportive of me outside of saying that sucks. Texting him every day became more of an obligation to keep the friendship going than something enjoyable. Eventually I wound up making a really rude comment about a girl that got fat and he called me out on it because he had body image issues himself that I knew about. I admitted I was wrong and said that I was going through a rough depressive patch that was making me cynical and angry. He told me that he couldn't deal with my negativity in his life anymore because he was moving on to bigger and better things. I never responded to him. I think he was right for dumping me as a friend. I was negative and probably bringing him down. The friendship was also fizzling out and I think he realized that too. He wound up deleting me on all social media which kinda hurt. But I knew where he was coming from. I honestly hope things are going well for him and he's off doing amazing things. We had some great memories. We're no longer friends. 